what we want to do is check uh, make sure that we display the classes here that each user belongs to, if any at all. So this user could be a lecturer or really doesn't matter as long as they belong to specific classes. We should be able to uh, display them here. So let's look at what we have in the database that can help us to identify that specifically. So we save um, which class a student belongs to in class students. So if I look here, if, for example, I have a user ID, I can then check to see what class they belong to here using their class ID. So all I need to do is get that user's ID and then check out where they belong to. So you can see here that uh, there can be multiple uh, records so i don't know why this has two records of this same guy belonging to the same class but uh, this should not be the case we'll see why this is but for now we can at least know that uh, one person can belong to several classes so which means we'll have multiple records here so let's go and uh, read this in order to read this we obviously need the student's model i think that that's what we have it called here if we go to models this is the um the same way there's the lecturer's model there's the student's model so this is the one right here that we need to use because that's the one that reads from class students and we may want to use the lecturer's model as well. Okay, so let's do this real quick. I'm going to go to our controller and this is on the profile page, yes. That's where we are. So this is the part where we need to read that, but it really depends on the tab. We have to be on the correct tab, otherwise we can ignore reading this. So we have to make sure that we are on this tab, which is classes, in order to get that information. Otherwise, we don't need it. So I'm just going to do an if statement here real quick so we can read from there. So I will put an if here and say if tab uh, page tab is equal to classes, like so, then uh, let's do something right here. So the first thing we would do is add some stuff to our data variable because we want that to go uh, to the other side. And I'm going to call the model elect as usual and just say elect, um, what do we use here? Now the thing is we, are, we want to read two things from the database. We want to look at the where the user ID is correct and the, actually we just need to know where the user ID is correct. So it's one thing, which means we can use the uh, select, is it the where clause? Yes, we can use the where. And also, let me just activate it and say lect is equal to new lecturer model. Actually, this one is, okay, we can read from the lecturer's model as well. And then we can also read from the, um, from the student's model in the same way. So here, I'm just going to say, uh, what do I call this? Uh, student or lect, lect classes. You can call these things anything you want. These are class, uh, lecturer classes and we can use that and the where clause will look for the user id okay so we need to have the correct user id and the user id in this case is this one right there okay so also here because if we we are not given the user id we'll get the id of the user that's currently logged in so that will be their profile so id is id for this situation. So let's put that there. Okay. 
So we have what we need, that's the user ID column. If it matches, then we get all those results. Pretty cool. And let's repeat this issue with uh, students. So let me change the select to uh, stud like this. And students model. I forgot to put these, but they're not necessary though, because we're not adding anything there anyway. And it's the same thing here as well. We are getting the user ID and getting our content. And that's it. So since data is being sent over here, this data should be available to us in the view. So let's go through the view and see what we have in elect classes and std classes. Let's start with this one right here. I'm going to copy that. Now, let's see here. We just had a user. Okay, that's cool. So let's go to the views and in here, I'm going to go to profile. Where is profile? Profile view right there. And then in here, we have a specific tab that we're looking for, which is classes. So we have to go to profile tab classes. So where is that here? And that's profile tab classes dot ink. And right after this, uh, yeah, right here, we can add some content. So I will put my PHP tags and um, hmm. Interesting right here. So instead of all this, um, let me come back here. We have this format for classes right here, right? So we can simply copy what's already here and use it here so that we keep everything that's there. So if I now go to, let's see here, wait a second, if I go back to classes, Okay, so there's an edit and delete. We will put some stuff here to limit the access who can edit and delete a class, but otherwise pretty much this is the information we need. Also the add new will be um, restricted, but this is the overall thing we need. So let's go to classes. Now, every time we have to repeat some code, it's better to create a new file for it. So here I'm going to go to, where is this? Classes view, classes view, right here. So in the classes view, this is the table that we display in the classes view, right? So instead of repeating this code on the other side, we are better served by saving it in a different file. So I'm just going to cut all this out like so, and I will create a new view here, and I will call this one, uh, let me paste the information, and let's just look at what it actually needs. This needs a, uh, it needs a row, right? Uh-huh, rows, row. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so let's save this guy. We're going to save this as one of these includes, but uh, let's look here, what can we call it? I can call it classes, um, hmm, let's see here. For the user, what do we call it? User ink. Okay, so I just say classes.inc like this or maybe a single classes class. Eh, that's fine. So we'll call it classes.inc.php because it simply displays the classes. So here I will add it back where I cut it from. Oh, wait a minute. Did I uh, miss this one? Card group. Let me undo here for a second. There's a table in here. Why is there a card group here? I have no idea. Anyway, we're going to see if it works at all and we're going to move this. So here I'll say include, of course I need my PHP tags. So I'll say PHP include. 
and in here I will put the views path because it's in the views and I'll say classes and uh, close that tag pretty good so once I have that I just need to check if it in classes nothing has changed so you see nothing has changed here which is awesome but the great thing is now we can use that here as well so I will come here and copy that go to the tab and uh, paste here cool so let's see what we get uh -huh. so at least we have the table never mind the error just look at what we have here so class blah 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 looking good however I think we may need to copy the um, this div as well I don't know for some reason I think uh, it sent us things there so maybe let's include it here in the classes ink based like so and cut that as well and let's remove these guys like so cool back here and let's add a div like that let me move everything back a few notches okay that's cool all right that's great this way if we edit anything here every reference to this file will be edited okay that's better the only thing is that it's complaining about rows over here so we can fix that real quick if I say if rows like this instead of that I can say if is set rows and rows like so this way we don't get that error very nice so no classes were found at this time that's okay the add new here exists but um, this is something else so we will make sure that uh, we don't display this this should have been only on the other side so maybe we should find a way to keep it there but we'll deal with this later for now no classes were found but let's come back here to profile tag classes all we need to do is provide the right information here so what i want now is Let's look at the, uh, where is this profile, profile tab, H3 title, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, no need for that. So what I will do now is get the correct data, which is either this or that. And um, what to do, maybe add them together not really sure or we can display them separately so let me start with these stud classes so i'm going to copy this and come here and say um, rows because this thing right here expects a rows variable so this is why i need to change it to that so say rows be equal to this variable right here like so and let me close that so once I make that available it's going to be used in here so let's see that in action okay there we go so it's saying undefined property class class okay so that's understood because the information here is incorrect okay so before we do this let me add a title here uh, because these are classes these are student classes and lecturer classes so here i'll say student classes like so and then let's repeat this whole thing here like so maybe let's start with lecturer classes because probably there will be fewer i'm not sure anyway lecturer classes and then student classes so these are the classes that i teach and these are the classes that i learn from so here we'll change this to lect classes like so okay 
So let's do that. Lecturer classes, no classes were found, and student classes here. You can title these things to be more specific to what you want, but this is the general idea. And let me put a horizontal rule here just to separate the two. Let me do that. Okay. Now, if you don't like this setup of doing it this way, you could instead add two tabs here, one for lecturer classes, the other one for student classes. So maybe let's do that instead of this, right? But for now, uh, what we're supposed to be interested in is this error here. Why do we have this error? Now, this error is there because this is not really a classes row, right? We just have to take the class ID and then go to the classes, where is classes right here in the table, and read from this by using this the class ID, which is this one right here, and then get the rest of the details like the class name, etc, etc. This is the information that would be acceptable in this table. Okay, so we will do that from here immediately after reading from the other table. So let's do that in the next video.